Hey guys, welcome back with another video at Linksy. This is gonna be a relatively short one, but I hope it will be just as useful. Today we're gonna look on how to actually use, implement, activate and work on corner camping. <laughs> of all things, this is an army that is essentially, as you can see, made out of missile units, which in this case are shades. We have four artillery, more or less you want your army compositions with most factions to be similar to this. The only major difference is that you'd want to have a couple of heroes, but I went with this as some people don't employ a large number of heroes in their armies, or you might get caught off guard, so it's just make it a little bit easier to manage if you understand exactly how this one works. So first things first, you'd want to create a semi checkerboard formation but there's a reason why you'd want a certain side to have a little bit more firepower than the rest again this doesn't work in every single case but the ai for some reason has a massive bias towards the left side of the map and you'd want to abuse of that in this case as well you need to take care of terrain you check terrain and there is a little bit of a blob area so in this area since there is a uh, movements um, problems in this case trees and a little bit of building obstacles that's the word i was looking for they're gonna slow and blow up more so you'd want a little bit more firepower to kill them as soon as they get out of the trees you put your artillery at the back and you s create most of your infant uh, your missile uh, at the back with again a little bit more bias i believe there's an extra unit over here which i placed in now there's a reason why you do the uh checkerboard formation checkerboard formation uh, is really useful in warhammer as you can see if there is combat and then we fight the battle we are i think outnumbered uh by half an army they will engage in the front two units and not keep going and disabling all of your firing missiles now if they're engaged with this unit okay if there is a unit attacking with that and is just going around it this unit can still fire into the flank and this unit can turn and fire into there and the rest can turn on the spot. It's really important that you do not have super long formations, maybe in the front, but generally you want a box. A box will turn on a penny and it will be absolutely fine. Now, another thing is some people re uh, tend to set up their formation after the battle has started. Ideally, you set it up before the battle has started. This is a triangle, this is a triangle. This is a corner and a corner, right? You will push your army in the corner, and I'll show you how. So you could select your entire army, hold Alt, and you can move your army into whatever place. Now, it is important that you do so very carefully because you might completely ruin your formation. As you can see, some of the, the formation is moving on its own. If I just completely crush it, it just goes out of shape. So you just need to place it in a situation such as that. In this case, we're fighting against an army that we have artillery superiority, so they will not come towards us. Will give us a little bit extra time to set up and and, and form up our ranks. Now, when this happens, this is an, and will be another video. It will be wasting the ammunition, and I'll do a small guide on that. But if you want to trigger them, all you need to do is essentially just summon a few spells on them. Let's say like that, and that should trigger them to start coming towards us. Uh, hopefully if not well we'll bombard them as much as possible they will come there you go they're on their way uh that's actually a really good spot to do soul storm and you just damage as much as you can keep in mind these abilities use them as much as possible uh, in the case of the dark elves uh, and every faction has its own version of it and it's important to use them but also you need to use them in the most effective way possible. So you can see the army is heavily sent to the left side of their flank. They have a really long flank, so their left side might be in the middle. I forgot to put them on, so it's fine. Keep your lords and heroes in the front, in front of your units, because they will act as a anchor point where all of their units will surround the unit, uh, the lord, and then you start killing them. Now, once they get in close to us, I just put it on fast forward so we don't waste too much time. Again, ideally you would have wasted their missiles, uh, but that's absolutely fine. They're going to fire at the Lord, just dodge a little bit with the Lord. There's a Lariel over there, so she's another legendary Lord and it's going to be a problem. Now, in this case, they also have two flyers and this formation will help you deal with the flyers very, very effectively. So start shooting at their Silvering Guard, their Elarian Reavers are going to die really quickly and their Chariots will die as well. Chariots are a big counter to this formation as they tend to do quite a lot of damage but you can easily deal with them so don't worry too much about it. 
and as the army is coming in you don't need to do much you just need to micromanage ever so slightly so the first unit over there is getting taken out a lot of units of see the um phoenix for some reason just hits the side tries to flank you and then it just starts getting shot at by all of your units this phoenix is going down there and that is okay um cast that there and the chariots the same over there you shoot down the chariots you deal with the phoenix as it's working and they will start dying we have a blob over there so we will aim at the blob and we start also use those units to aim at the others now you guys deal with that as that is a really important target and same over there you guys start taking that and you pick unit by unit and you start guiding them into the specific directions this is not a very strong army i mean these are shades but they're only shades with dual weapons so they're not going to do as much damage as the great swords and uh, they are very inexperienced and we're going against a highly experienced army uh, so keep that in mind it will make a big difference just keep casting spells if you have them keep casting magic uh, lords are a perfect situation where you cast vortex spells but again i do not have in this army and i will do uh if you guys are interested of course do a vortex uh, casting tutorial as well that is annoying when that happens but it is running away and you get to shoot at their lord i believe this is essentially most of their troops taken out at this point um, these guys can start charge sh shooting over there you um, You shoot over here and you shoot over there Crossfire is really important as crossfire allows you to shoot from the angles and from the sides of armies Which will make it yeah, you shoot over there, which will make it much easier to deal with troops as They take more damage, especially if they have shields from the behind well, I'm not advocating for the behind. I'm sure Moloch, if he sees this, will have a little bit of a fit. Um, you guys can shoot there, I am fairly certain. If not, you do that and you let them shoot fire at will. Kill whatever you can. The, our, their army is dying and we just need to break them at this point. Fast forward since there isn't really much to do. Kill Alariel. Once Alariel dies, that is that as a major penalty towards their... Okay, shoot the eagle ball throwers. Taking out their artillery's ammo is really important early game, and that's they're broken. We took damage. This was a much stronger army than we were fight uh, that there we had. So keep that in mind as well. And it was our army was pretty much brand new. But as you can see, we even if we took damage, all of our units are pretty much still alive and intact. And we've wiped them out because they were garrisoning. Uh, again, nothing really got wiped out from our end, and they lost their entire force over here. So this is how you use corner camping and how you do um, checkerboard formation using any basic army. Again, you need missiles, you need a lord and some heroes if you have them, but not necessarily, and some artillery at the back, and you tend to kill pretty much everything. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up, leave a comment, and tell me what you'd like to see. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please feel free to do so. It's free, and 99% of you aren't subscribed. <laughs> this is absolutely insane. And somehow you keep returning, so check if you hit the button and please do. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care and goodbye.